The first problem of this first ACT practice test focuses on a type of probability question. So the blood types of 150 people were determined for a study as shown in the figure below. If one person from this study is randomly selected, what is the probability that this person has either type A or type AB blood? So let's take a closer look at type A here and type AB here, where type A, there are 67 people with that, and there are only six people with type AB. So in general, when dealing with probability questions like this, you need to think of probability as a type of ratio or fraction. So the probability of something happening is equal to some type of fraction where the numerator is the number of ways that your event can happen. So let's say the number of ways that it can happen. And your denominator is the total number of outcomes. So this may seem fairly abstract when it's just written as a definition, but in practice, it's not too difficult to actually use. So for our particular problem, we're trying to find the probability that a person randomly selected has either type A or type AB blood. So in our numerator here, we want the number of ways it can happen, or the number of ways that somebody can either have type A or type AB blood. And since there are 67 people with type A and six with type AB, if we add them together, there are 73 ways that a person could be selected that has either of these blood types. Now the denominator, the total number of outcomes, that in this particular case is just how many people in total were in this study. So we know that that is 150 people. So the probability that someone randomly selected would have either type A or type AB blood is this 73 divided by 150. So a little bit less than 50%. And you can see here that choice D is the correct answer.